sublime. I couldn't find any better adjective to describe those delicious coconut bars. They are really scrumptious indeed. Chocolate melts in the mouth and it gets mixed with the coconut, the double cream that was previously melted and delicious indeed. Hello everybody, if you don't know me yet, my name is Giuseppe and I'm better known as the Italian guy. So I thought that in the keto world those delicacies were missing and so I made them healthy, they are keto and uh, even if we are in keto we can eat moderately some uh, sweets. But now let's follow me in the recipe. So let's move to the stove and we can put in uh, a small pot, double heavy cream, uh, 75 milliliters. I suggest you to keep the low, uh, the, a low flame. Butter, 25 grams. Let's stir until the butter is completely, completely melted. A low flame will help you to put the, the whole dough straight on the parchment paper without letting it cool down. Once the butter is melted, we put the erythritol, 40 grams, and we keep stirring so that the sweetener will uh, melt as well. And um, once you put them on the parchment paper, you can immediately uh, start making the shape without uh, waiting to, for them to cool down. Grated coconut flour, 100 grams, the key ingredient of this uh, recipe. So let's keep stirring until the flour has completely absorbed the liquid ingredients. You can see, that, yeah, you can see that it's already doing it when it becomes more compact, so to say, and gets off the wall of the, the pot, so to say. So with a low flame, now we will transfer the, this dough, the parchment paper. Yeah, I already made some of them, three of them. You will get six if you, with the amount I gave you, if you keep uh, following these, uh, these sides. Of course, you can make them smaller if you want. It's very easy to mold them and then you can put them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and after that you can even uh, it will be even better to round the borders to make them more original. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Now you can melt 80 gram, uh, sorry, 100 grams of dark chocolate, 85 percent. And you can do some, uh, give some taps with the fork so to re remove the chocolate in excess. And you keep doing this. Feel free to leave as much chocolate as you want all around. And that's it. Then you can put them in the refrigerator two or three days. Okay, folks. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Those uh, famous bounty, they were missing in the keto world. So I hope you like them. If you make them please let me know in the comments below and uh, I will make a survey here I will put a survey here so the most voted recipe will be the one that I will be making next week in the next video so if you like the video please share with your friends spread the word I need to gain more followers in a, a different uh, language rather than Italian than Italian so have your say and that's it. See you next time. Bye.